We are now nearly 24 hours into the first government shutdown in nearly seven years. Tonight, Congress doesn't seem to be any closer, however, to getting a deal done. Both Republicans and Democrats continue to blame each other. Here's a live look at the Capitol in Washington tonight with Congress failing to pass a short term funding bill. About 750,000 federal workers expected to be furloughed. Republicans want to extend funding at current levels. Democrats are holding out for concessions on health care, including extensions of Affordable Care Act subsidies and reversals of cuts to Medicaid. Chuck Schumer and the Democrats need to do the right thing and stop inflicting pain on the American people. Well, we are going to show them that it's the Republicans that do this. They voted against this. We tried to undo it three times, and the American people are going to be totally on our side. The Trump administration is also threatening mass firings. Some financial experts warn the shutdown could impact the economy, potentially costing billions of dollars a week. Here in Houston, while NASA is officially closed, mission critical operations continue, like flight controllers in mission control and the Artemis II program set to launch next year. Those essential employees are required to report for work, but won't see a paycheck until Congress reaches a deal, leaving others furloughed. I've talked to a few of our relatively new employees that just got hired on, and they're in a really tough spot. Even those families at, um, at the Johnson Space Center that have two households, it's a trying time for, for everyone right now. As for visitors, Space Center Houston is a nonprofit and remains open to the public.